Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where you may be. Welcome to another Microsoft Screencast. Today we're going to talk about Windows 7 and Windows Server 2008 R2 and one of my super favorite new features that's in those products. And in this particular case, I'm talking about direct access. Direct access is a networking technology that I think is going to make uh, business people's lives much simpler. It gives you access through a really direct mechanism to corporate resources that you would normally have to access by establishing a VPN uh, connection with first. Now in my case I'm actually connected to the Microsoft network uh, transparently to me as a user using my home office network and I'm going to kind of show you that but before we do that let's kind of you know set a baseline here what would I have to do to go submit an expense report you know prior to this uh, feature that I'm talking about called direct access well I would have to fire up this VPN client establish a connection you know plug in my pin and go through that process now in Microsoft's case that process is a quarantine process so in addition to establishing the VPN connection it's going to check my machine you know for its health and well-being uh, and it's going to determine do I have all the security patches and fixes implemented and, you know is my antivirus up to date all those kind of things so there's there's time associated with that and you know how humans are we're pretty impatient right so we don't really want to have to go through that hassle and frankly with this new technology you don't have to so first things first let me kind of show you a couple things here's my blog so this is a public blog it's out on the public internet you can get to it right now at blogs.tetnet.com slash Keith Combs. And as you can see here, I've got, you know, typical links to fun articles. I blog on a wide variety of stuff um, uh, that is server-related, you know, client-related Microsoft products and technologies, as well as things that are interesting to me. So you can kind of see something that uh, Matt Hester um, uh, captured while he was at South by Southwest in Austin, Texas, and, and I'm linking to it here. I could also go show you, you know, a link to another website that's out there. You know, this is all kind of typical stuff. Now in this case, uh, this is a link to the interoperability roadshow that we're going to start on the 31st, and I think you'll find that this is you know a great set of information for those of you that are running, uh, you know, a heterogeneous environment with Linux, OS X, Windows, a variety of technologies. Be sure and check this out at technetevents.com/interop. So that's the public side. Um, that shows us you know what what that experience is like when I go access resources from my home office network for public resources. But what if somebody picks up the phone and calls me and says, hey, Keith, I need you to submit an expense report, which, frankly, I need to go do right now. I've got a few that I've got to go submit. Or I need you to check something on, you know, the Microsoft Dining side or, or whatever the case may be, some corporate resource. You know, what's that experience like? So let's start up a tab here and let's just go to the Microsoft Dining site. Now the Microsoft Dining site is, as you can see here, it's just got a little short name here. That's going to take me to a web server that's inside our corporate network. So I'm going to go across this tunnel right now inside the Microsoft corporate network to gain access to this website. And as you can see, access is very fast and it's very transparent to me as a user. So I just went there and boom, I can go see that site right away. Maybe I want to change something that's related to my health benefits or um, you know, contact information or something like that. Uh, I could go to HR web, which is our internal HR site, and then go change information that's related to me. So here's our HR site. I might decide to go purchase a new computer. So I might decide to go to our MS Market site and you know purchase a new laptop from one of our OEM um, providers, et cetera. So we can see all those different sites are just transparently being accessed across direct access. So from the user perspective, these resources can be inside the corporate network or outside on the public internet, and it's just transparent to the user and they don't really care they just know that they need to go get their job done so now they can go get that done very very quickly and as you can see I you know I happen to be running on a very fast network right now I have a fiber optic connection via the magic of um, Verizon Fios so I have a high speed connection to the internet but you can still use this technology across mobile broadband cards, um, maybe a wireless provider like at a you know coffee shop that you might be visiting, maybe an airport. Um, this technology can be used pervasively wherever you might be. Now, if you want more information on direct access, I'm showing you the area on technet.microsoft.com. This has additional information, so it's got an introductory information. If you're curious about terms, you can look up some of the terms that are used in uh, this area of TechNet. So, for instance, this is showing you what six to four uh, refers to, and that's really, you know, 
transmitting IP version 6 packets across an IP version 4 network. So if you want the gory details of that, you can certainly find that. And if you want protocol details, you can get the gory details on that as well by going to the MSDN network where you'll see all the RFC specifications for the underlying technologies. Let me just kind of scroll this a little bit over here to the right a little bit. And as you can see here, let me just scroll this down a little bit too. Get to the area that we were at. There we are. Didn't realize I had changed that. So IP over HTTPS is one of the tunneling protocols that we're using right now. And all of that information about that protocol is, you know, here on the MSDN site. So if you want to build a client or a you know application that takes advantage of this technology, takes advantage of direct access, we've got a lot of information there. And that's really the point. There are a lot of solutions that you can provide once you have network connectivity. The, the, the sky's, you know, essentially the limit here. Now let me show you a couple other things. How do you get started? How do you implement this? Well, we have a direct access early adopters guide. Let me show you that kind of here at the bottom of this page here. So down here at the beta deployment information area, you can see direct access early adopters guide. Go to that and then you can download that guide so you can see a little link to that guide. I've already downloaded that and we've got that right here. This particular guide has a lot of information on exactly how to get started, how, how to install the server roles, how to set up the IPsec tunnels, how to deploy um, policies to your DNS servers, how to deploy group policies to the clients that are going to be connecting to your network. You can see a lot of that information right here in the table contents. So we've got great information on how to get this set up and how to get it running. Now this is this particular set of technology isn't necessarily for the faint of the heart. You know this is um, some technical networking so you will have to have pretty good strong technical networking skills to go implement this successfully but uh, once again I think this is a really going to be something that you're going to uh, make uh, give a nice environment to the to the customers or users that you support on your network and as you can see the transparency and the seamlessness of the connectivity uh, on the client side of this you know the the user side of this is really phenomenal now um, I did show you just a moment ago, but I'm also connected with my Outlook client right now. As you can see, Microsoft Outlook. I'm not going to actually show you my email, but I wanted to show you one other thing on this. So Outlook, you know, normally from my home office connection, I would establish a connection, you know, HTTP um, connection across secure sockets, and I would tunnel those RPC calls inside um, that RPC you know, to HTTPS sort of tunnel, if you will, um, to get access to the Exchange front end and back end servers. Now, in this case, since I already have a tunnel to the Microsoft network, we can see here that I'm just using raw TCP. So I'm, I'm actually just sending RPC communications across the TCP IP stack directly to our servers. Because I have direct access, I can do that. So again, you know, because that's transparent to the Outlook client. There were no changes that needed to take place to the Outlook client. All I did was basically turn off the front end proxies to our Exchange infrastructure and, and I just connected directly to the back end Exchange uh, mailbox servers that I have my mailbox sitting on. So this networking technology I think really is going to be a lot of fun for the users. Uh, I think that you're going to find that this is going to blow your socks off when you check that out. So be sure and come back and check out some of the other screencasts that I'll do on my blog. Once again, that's blogs.technic.com slash Keith Combs. I'll do some other interesting screencasts on Windows 7 and Windows Server 2008 R2 very soon. So hope you hopefully you found this informative. Come back and check those out at a later date. I'll talk to you again very, very soon.